Hi everyone, welcome to a new video, today's subject, Buck 301 vs Buck 303. I'm a big fan of Buck knives, so if you're choosing between the 301 Stockman and the 303 Cadet, I can help you out. These knives share many similarities, and to the untrained eye they might look like twins, but they aren't 100% identical. In this article, I'll pull apart the subtle differences between the Buck 301 versus Buck 303 so you're able to choose the knife that's right for you. This review will take you through the key comparisons, side-by-side -side specs, and real user feedback of each model to help you decide whether it'll be the 301 or the 303 that gets added to your basket. If you haven't got time to read the full article, don't worry, here's a super quick overview. Buck 301 Buck described the 301 as being traditional, convenient, and multi-purpose. The Buck 301 is the largest three-bladed knife that's available from Buck and a knife that's a great everyday carry for bossing basic cutting tasks. This 301 is truly versatile, with each of its three blades fulfilling a different purpose. The clip point blade is 2-3-4 long and is well suited to detail work. If you're going to be skinning or using sweeping knife strokes, the spay blade will come in handy. And if you're looking to make clean cuts, the sheep's foot blade is our favorite. Many reviewers comment on how handsome the knife is. Mixing together the black phallic's handle and silver nickel bolsters, it's easy to see how some people are just as happy admiring the knife in their hand as well as putting it to work. Of the two knives we're reviewing in this article, the 301 is slightly bigger than the 303. Despite this, we think the 301 is still small and light enough to keep in your pocket but some reviewers do find it a little big for traditional work slacks. Something we recommend you keep in mind when considering your options. Despite its small and compact size, the 301 is extremely functional and shouldn't be underestimated as just a pocket knife, it packs a punch and delivers the cutting performance most of us need. As with most buck knives, the 301 is made in America and comes with a lifetime warranty. A very small number of reviewers mentioned that they have had issues with the knife's quality control, receiving models that were poorly finished with scuffed edges. But all of those reviewers note the friendly no questions asked warranty had saved the day. Buck 303 Though the 303 is slightly smaller than the 301, it is still a durable and strong pocket knife that fares well during day-to-day -day use. As with the Buck 301, the 303 model also has the same three blades, proving it is just as versatile for day-to-day -day use. Across the primary blade, you'll lose around one-third, one-quarter of an inch in size, with blade thickness also reducing proportionally. Again, it's still the same blade as we saw with the 301, just think of this as the little brother model. That fractionally smaller and lighter profile of the 303 may fare better when undertaking intricate skinning tasks or for those with slightly smaller hands. Ultimately, it'll come down to how they feel in your hand when deciding whether the 301 or the 303 is right for you. Buck 301 vs 303 – The Main Differences Here are the main differences between the Buck 301 and 303. 1. The Weight The Buck 301 weighs 2.9 ounces, and the Buck 303 weighs 1.9 ounces. If you prefer a lighter knife that can fit in your pocket, the 303 is the ideal choice. You can do all detailed tasks without sacrificing comfort. 2. The Blade Length While the 303 also has three blades as the 301, they are relatively smaller and lighter. Because of this, the knife will also feel lighter in your pocket. Remember that it will still offer the same functionality as one another. Buck 301 vs 303 – The Similarities here are the main similarities between the Buck 301 versus 303. Pricing, the price range of both these knives is the same. Blade quantity, both the knives have three blades. Steel, both knives provide you with 420HC steel. Such steel offers the best retention, corrosion resistance, less wear and tear, and more. Manufacturing, both the Buck knives are manufactured in the United States. Application, both the knives are perfect for detail work, skinning, making clean cuts, and much more. The Buck 301 and 303 have all these similarities. That is why your decision must depend on the weight, blade length, and preferences. Buck 301 vs Buck 303 in a nutshell. The 301 weighs around 1 ounce more and is around 0.6 longer. The difference in price is negligible, so it really just comes down to size preference. 
The Buck 301 and Buck 303 are very similar knives. Both have three blades, a clip point blade, a spay blade, and a sheep's foot blade. If you're looking for something marginally bigger, it's the Buck 301. If you want something smaller, get the Buck 303. Right, let's dive in. 301 Stockman vs. 303 Cadet, Key Comparisons Both knives are three-blade folding knives that are less than four inches long. They are also both super light, with the 301 coming in at 2.9 ounces and the 303 weighing 1.9 ounces. Based on this, we find it's not a burden to carry either knife around day to day. The 301 and 303 both promise to be multi-purpose, and given that both models have got three blades, it's an easy promise to fulfill. Both models have a clip point blade which is really useful for intricate tasks, such as cutting in tight places or detail work. They also have a spay blade that's perfect for skinning. And finally, both have a sheep's foot blade which is perfect for making clean cuts. Both knives adopt super sharp, Paul Boss heat treated for 20HC steel, giving them the performance to tackle most everyday tasks. Whilst 420HC steel can lose its edge quite quickly, it's easy to bring back to hair popping sharpness, even for amateur knife sharpeners. The Buck 301 and 303 are both beautiful knives to behold. The injection molded black Valex handle with nickel silver bolsters is as equally handsome as it is handy. This is a beautiful USA made little pocket knife. I wanted the dressiest looking knife for special occasions and this is it. Despite so many similarities, there is a small difference in price, with the Buck 301 being slightly more expensive than the 303. This is due to the 303's primary blade being slightly bigger than the 301's, with the overall size being slightly bigger too. There really isn't much in it, and I'd be amazed if anyone could truly tell the difference at first glance. We recommend getting both in your hand to find out which one feels better for you, it's the only way you'll honestly be able to decide. Whichever knife you choose, you can't make a bad decision here. Both are beautiful, multi-purpose knives, crafted by a much-loved American brand. Hopefully, that's given you a taster for both models before we dive into the nitty-gritty.